my favorite segments, So Not Junk. She wanted you guys to say it. No, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> One more time. So Not Junk. Look at that. Very nice. It's all about uncovering the cold hard cash, hiding in plain sight, staring at you in the face. We've asked you, our lovely studio audience, to bring in the junk, like the old locket from Grandma's jewelry box, baseball card you can't even remember where you got. Turns out Lou Gehrig was actually a very good player. So many of our viewers tweeted pictures of things they wanted less bro. No, it's not. It's less gold than Ashley Broad from True TV's Hardcore Pawn to give us an estimate on. These are the stars of that show. We love Hardcore Pawn, and welcome to our show. Thank Good you afternoon. for having us again. So happy to have you all back. Uh, we want to ask you for, and because I dig the show, I sort of, I, it sucks me in, mm -hmm. and it won't let me go. But the shop itself, what is life like there apart from what we see on TV? It's no different. We run a 50,000 square foot facility. Wow. We deal with a thousand people each and every day. You know, we deal with their emotions. Uh, they come in, they're emotional. We're, if, if we say no, where are they gonna go? There's nowhere else, so we're, we're the last resort. What percentage of the stuff in that 50,000 foot store do you know you have? Like how aware of your own well, inventory we have, are Well, we have 40,000 items in pawn. Um, and in the store, we our redemption rate, people that pick up their merchandise yeah. from pawn is about 90%. Oh, so, really? so we're their bank. That's, that's how we operate, and that's how the, the pawn shop business has been. Cool. All right, so let's talk about, Ashley, when you're looking through your home or you're out thrift shopping at yard sales, give us some simple things to look for that might translate to cash. You always want to look in your home for glass. You always want to look for your china. Look through your sterling silver, and look through if you have any Tiffany glass. Well, Tiffany glass, that would be a major bonanza. For sure, for um, sure. Look through everything in your home. And know, know, to look for the maker's mark. Do your homework. Do your homework. Use the internet as a tool to look up those marks. Um, all right, well, I believe that we have some folks in our audience who wanted to bring in some items. They are ready to get up Let's here. go, let's start so with Linda Hill. Everybody, I love this story. Linda, I understand that you are, like me, a fabulous thrift shopper. Ooh, I am. I thrift yeah. shopped my way across America twice, Lara. And uh, every time I go in a little town, I say, where's the thrift store? And, and you found at these shops across America these wonderful metal mesh bags. Yes. These are They're, absolutely beautiful. And uh, it's, they always like say, like, oh, you're from the big city. Uh, I knew you were, when I saw your license plate, I was going to get a lot of money out of you. And five dollars. <laughs> all, all of these bags were about five dollars. All together, I probably have spent about a hundred dollars, and I really am not sure what they're worth. I just really like vintage clothes. All right, you are an what unbelievable are collector. <laughs> so you've been. How long have you been collecting these mesh bags? Probably twenty years. Well, these mesh bags are very intricate. They're from the early nineteen twenties. Uh, you got a pretty good deal on these uh, from the nineteen twenties. This one has a stamping in here from Germany. This, the handle on this is from. Germany, it is sterling silver, and this one all together is twelve hundred and fifty dollars. So you did an unbelievable find. Congratulations! What a great eye you have. Pack up the car again. So keep your eyes out for these. Congratulations! We want to play Santa Claus for as many people as we can. Get up here, Nan. Come on, let's see these drinking cups. And congratulations! And she's fine. So Nan, you have these um, these wonderful silver cups. Yes. These are a family heirloom. Um, they've just been in your house for a very long, a long time. And I don't use them. That's the problem. All right. So Les, give it to us. Oh, so and I with thought. the whole with the magic yeah. looker. <laughs> the magic. I love it. So the last person you want to say this is not junk is me. <laughs> okay. Actually, what you have here is something fabulous. These are 1940s mm -hmm. sterling silver Tiffany cups. Did you know and they were Tiffany? Did you Actually, know they were I Tiffany? did. I, because once I listened to them, I just looked now and saw Tiffany. The Tiffany. <laughs> they they have a current. They actually have a current price of about three thousand five hundred dollars oh for four of them. No. Oh my God! Thank you. Thank you very much. That's fantastic. Cheers! 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 Let's get out of here. Congratulations. So Phyllis brought in a bracelet. Um, right. Looks like gold, and we, this is also a family piece. It was my mother's. I inherited. Do you, did you like it? Do you wear I it? I never wore it. I never wore it. I'm not a jewelry person. Well, Wait. it's if I may sure. say, it is a beautiful 18 karat gold wow. bracelet, tricolor. I mean, it's three colors of gold. When I saw it earlier today. It had a value of 3600 The gold oh. price in the world has gone up. It's now worth $3,900. Wow. Oh, my God. That's amazing. It's going up. It just went up. 
Good job. 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 Good